U.S. debt ceiling discussions were deemed successful, but there is still no agreement. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy and U.S. President Joe Biden described their most recent debt ceiling discussions as promising, although no agreement has yet been achieved. Speaker of the House McCarthy told reporters, I think we can get an agreement. Even while he acknowledged there were differences, Mr. Biden stated that, default is off the table. The U.S. may default on its debt as early as June 1, according to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. By June, if it hasn't been increased over the present maximum of around $31.4 trillion, 25.2 trillion pounds, the U.S. may default on its debt. If so, the government could not take out any further loans or cover all its obligations. The worldwide economy would also be in danger of suffering, which would have an impact on international pricing and mortgage rates. After meeting with the House Speaker, Mr. Biden released a statement in which he declared, default is off the table, and the only way to move forward is in good faith toward a bipartisan agreement. We don't have an agreement yet, Mr. McCarthy stated. But I did think that the conversation was fruitful in areas where we disagreed. He promised to speak with Biden every day until the matter was resolved. According to Mr. McCarthy, spending is at the root of the impasse between Democrats and Republicans. The House Speaker had earlier emphasized the necessity for a compromise this week to give Congress enough time to fulfill the deadline of June 1. He calculated that it would take around 72 hours to write, read, and vote on the agreement. In a letter to Congress on Monday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned that without a rise in the debt ceiling, the U.S. will likely run out of money to pay its obligations as early as the 1st of June. She emphasized the urgency and said it was highly likely that there would be a default in early June. According to her comments, American families would suffer greatly if Congress didn't raise the debt ceiling. Republicans are calling for budget cutbacks of more than $4 trillion, which would eliminate several of Vice President Biden's legislative ambitions. Democrats offered to maintain flat expenditures but were rejected. The left and right edges of their respective parties are putting pressure on Mr. Biden and Mr. McCarthy to stay the line. An agreement has so far been difficult to reach with Republicans holding a slim majority in the House and a one-seat Democratic majority in the Senate.